Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And today I want to talk to you about uh, how you're losing business on social media. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can't even tell you how many times I go to social media looking for someone, looking for their website, looking for their email to either connect them with somebody or refer them to somebody or just look them up because I saw them somewhere. Uh, I can't even tell you how many times. Uh, I mean, just today alone, I was looking, I can't, I couldn't find five people like, from, okay. So I thought it would just do this video to uh, set, send a reminder to many of you who are in business. Now, if you were on social media before when you had a job or <clears throat> didn't have a business, you may have set your settings first of all, to private or friends only, okay? But now that you're in business, this is where we do business online. You have to be open to the public. Just like if you had a brick and mortar store on your in your local town, at the neighborhood, by the grocery store, you would be open to the public or you would have posted hours, right? You wouldn't just have a big like a uh, gate in front of your building and not be open and only let in secret people, like the people that are already your customers, right? <laughs> so this is what you're doing on social media if you have not opened up your settings. So you need, I can't show you on this video how to do that. I can show you in person or in a, in a call, but, and I do this with clients, <clears throat> but you go to your settings, and there's lots of different things to open up and see if you're allowing friends only or public or private. And so you need to go double check all of those. Because And so I was talking to somebody the other day at a chamber event, actually, and I, and I, cause I was looking for him right there on the spot on my cell phone. And I, was, and I sent him a message and I said, Hey, you're, I think you're only friends only. Cause I can't find you. Can you send me a friend request? And he's like, well, I keep my social media just for friends and family and my kids and stuff. And I said, oh my God, and he wants business, right? And I'm like, why don't you just start a group for your friends and family and your kid photos and have everybody be in a private group that needs to go see that and keep all that private and then make your public, uh, make your profile public. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's the first mistake uh, that you wanna fix if this is you. Second mistake is putting all your contact info on your personal profile not just your page on Facebook. Same thing goes on LinkedIn. Most people put all more business stuff on LinkedIn. Uh, and in Instagram, I know you can only have typically one link, but for some reason I have three. I don't know if there are four links on there. So there is a way and I can't remember how. I think I have a business Instagram. I don't spend a whole lot of time on Instagram, but make sure you're pleased. You're filling everything out <clears throat> over there. But on LinkedIn, I have a profile and a page, right? I'm not as active on the page just because I'm more active on my business or my Facebook page than my LinkedIn page. But regardless, you don't need a page. If you're not that active on LinkedIn, don't get a page. Just do your profile and maximize the number of connections you have uh, and connect with more people, but also run a newsletter, please. Long story, I don't have time to explain what a newsletter is. Maybe in another video, I will. But I have like 700 and something subscribers and that's little compared to people that have been doing newsletters a long time. I've only been doing them like this year consistently. Um, and so uh, LinkedIn, So, but I still go over to LinkedIn, the business platform, and people still don't have their website email linked on their profile contact information. You know, when you hit the contact button by your by your name, it should open up all your stuff. I mean, I have like six or seven website links. I have my address, my phone number, uh, my email address, all my other social links too. I mean, like everything, right? And then under the about section, I have everything filled in, including URLs in there. Now they're not live in the about in the written bio area, but there's so many opportunities to put lots of links in within LinkedIn, just so you know. And if you're not doing that, you're missing out because people aren't easily finding you. You can't make it hard for people to find you and get to your website or get your stuff or sign up for a call. You have to make it easy. Always think of how can I make this easier for them? right? Okay, back to Facebook. Um, your People think, okay, my personal profile is for my personal stuff, and I'll put my business stuff on my business page. That's okay. Although I think you, sometimes we go to your personal profile and we have no idea what you do. Like if we don't know what your business is or what you do or what you sell, 
that's not good. So, and a lot of times you'll under the about in the Facebook, you will, um, you know, put your, your, your little tagline of who you are, who you serve. And then there's, uh, like a whole bunch of links there you can put and information, but so many people don't put links. And then they try to connect to their business page, but they type it wrong. So it links to entrepreneur, uh, like a page that says entrepreneur, right? Instead of a page to like mine is Katrina Sawa, jumpstart your biz now. So in order to say like, I work at, I don't say jumpstart your biz now. I say Katrina Sawa dash jumpstart your biz now because that will pull up my page and I can link it to my page then. So that's a missed opportunity, not linking over to your business page on your personal profile on LinkedIn. I'm sorry, on Facebook. And then uh, making sure you have your, again, your address, your phone number, your email address, all your different web pages. So I have like 40 domain names, okay? And a lot of them redirect to different pages on my website. For example, my events page on my website is... I have a domain that I redirect to. So the regular page is jumpstartyourbiznow.com forward slash events. But I bought jumpstartevents.net a long time ago and I forward it to that page. So then the URL that's on the social platforms is jumpstartevents.net. So if you want to go to events, go there, right? If you want to go to my website, go to jumpstartyourbiznow.com. If you want to go to my publishing site, go to jumpstartpublishing.net. If you want to come and schedule a call with me, go to askcat.biz. So I have these different links in my personal profile and my business page and my LinkedIn everywhere. Okay, so I just want to alert you to the fact that a lot of you are missing these things and you're making it hard for people to find you or to connect with you. A lot of times, like I say, I go, I find their Facebook profile, but I can't find their business page because I have no idea what they're calling it or what their business name is. And you're not linking anywhere to your business page or your website. Oh my God, you're missing out on business and referrals right now. Please don't do that. These things are the probably the most critical things I see that are just the littlest of things that people just don't even think about because you're so busy throughout the day. You have all list of things to do. So do I, but I still make sure that I'm dotting my T's in dotting my I's and crossing my T's on all the little nitty gritty things. I'm a nitty gritty. If I find all these little things in my clients and I make them fix them and we do it together. So if you want to come and talk to me about it, let me know. And I also have workshops. I have a virtual training coming up uh, starting in October, my sales and systems boot camp, And I have an in-person workshop <clears throat> on October 4th. If you're local to the greater Sacramento area or within a couple hours of drive, it's four hour workshop. It's totally worth driving to. We're going to talk about social media, speaking, marketing, your website, backend systems, what you're selling, sales, all that kind of stuff. So at either one. So you can do virtual with me over the, you know, October through, I think it goes through March. Very reasonable pricing, you guys, for that. Or in person with me, or just come and talk and we can do some coaching. But I just want to help you get more clients. And so many of you are making it hard to get clients. So stop missing out on all these little nitty gritty things that can make a big difference. I promise you. Have a good day.